Hiya, I haven't done a vlog for uh, quite a while now. I've just not had the um, motivation to go fishing, if I'm honest. I don't know if it's middle-aged crisis or having a young family or the uh, afterburn of lockdown or what. I've just really struggled. But um, my friend Ian Harris, thankfully, um, once again, saved the day and suggested that I come out and join him down at a top secret location uh, in Dorset that has some very good catch on his bass fishing. And uh, I've done a video there once already on the mullet fishing, uh, but this time I was, I'd made a little promise to myself that I'd leave the mullet well alone and uh, target the bass with a lure rod. Um, so that's what I did, and uh, this is how I got on. Thanks for watching and catch up with you soon, I hope. Cheers. I haven't bothered making a video today. I'm too tired, I just wanted to enjoy my fishing. But, it's sad now. Making the bass in the water, so it's a turn here. Caught on that stupid expensive lure, so it's gradually making it pay for itself, which is good. That's a shallow feed. Hanging on by a whisker. So I've had two bass similar size, uh, the one that I just netted, I thought the video was still rolling but it wasn't, so I missed that, that's all I've got, loads of these little things, there's <laughs> not much difference in size is there, amazing, next year's one pound fish, one pound fish, I'll see if I can catch a one pound fish, I'm running out of batteries so I'll be back. Off and it was one pound. So, last knockings, the camera is rolling because Ian has caught a pl. Ah, you always said a place. A flounder. A flounder. Gert Biggin. That's quite a nice size, isn't it? It is. Especially on a baited spinner on a spinning rod. Disgraceful. What sort of oik could use bait? So the thing I love about that place is the fact that every time I come away from it, I learn something new. And if a venue doesn't um, pose more questions than it answers, then it's probably a venue I'll grow tired of. So I'm glad I, I went and it's crazy how psychologically you get into a frame of mind where you think you don't want to go fishing. And when you do, you absolutely love it. And uh, I loved every second of it. Um, the thing that I think I learned, uh, the thing that really came home, it's just how shallow the water can be for bass um, to happily feed in. As long as there's a bit of ripple to, to give them some form of cover, although even that's not that important. I might even just be making that up. Oh, well, there's something for me to go and test next time. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and um, subscribe if you enjoy the videos. Cheers.